Hello everyone, this is Greg and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode we're gonna create a unique boathouse. This boathouse has two large garage for your boats. And then right outside the garage there is a spacious floating patio. And then in each garage is a ladder. This ladder in particular heads up into the kitchen. And this kitchen is outfitted with all the modern appliances. And then right outside the kitchen is a relaxing second level deck. This deck is outfitted with outdoor patio furniture. And then we head into the bedroom. And this bedroom has two sets of bunk beds. This house is perfect for having friends over for the weekend, as well as hosting parties. This build is broken down into 9 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. The main materials you will need to create this house are green concrete, birch stairs, birch wood planks, and birch slabs. Now if concrete is a difficult material for you to make, you can use any dark wood planks, as this would look good too. Also here's a quick little side note, the base of this boathouse is roughly 19 by 12 blocks wide, and it is 10 blocks tall. These dimensions are helpful if you're building a neighborhood and need to know how close you can build next to another house. Step 1. First let's create the base of the beach house. Find an area of water you'd like to build the house on. Then next let's create two U-shaped bases. Start at the back and make a 7 wide row. Then pivot 90 degrees and add 7 blocks for a total length of 8 blocks. Then extend the other outside wall as well. And then in the front of the U-shape, we can add one green concrete block in the center. Make sure there's two empty spaces either side of this single block. Now let's work on the second U-shape structure. From the corner of the first U-shape, move over six blocks, and then start the next row on the sixth block over. Now make sure there's five empty spaces in between the two U-shape structures, and then extend this back row like the other one, seven blocks wide, and then we can pivot 90 degrees and make this wall eight blocks wide, as well as on the other side as well. And don't forget the block in the center. Step two. Next, let's work on the walls of the house. Starting at the front of the house, create six columns, and then make each column an additional six blocks tall on top of the foundation base. And then once the front six columns are done, we can create six more columns in the back. And these are also six blocks tall as well. Make sure the columns in the back line up exactly with the columns in the front. Next, at the fourth block up above the water, lay a green concrete crossbeam all the way around the house. Step 3. Next let's work on the roof. Use birch stairs and attach the stairs to the side of the 6 block up. Overhang the roof by 1 block on the front. As well as on the back side of the house. Make a total of 4 rows of stairs. And then we can make 4 more rows on the opposite side. However, for the inner roof side, remove the center four blocks, as we will put a doorway in here. Then once four rows have been installed, lay a strip of birchwood planks in the center. Then we can repeat the same process on the other side. Again, make sure to remove the four center stairs on the inner facing roof. Then continue the roof up and make a total of four rows. Then we can make four more rows on the other side. And then we can place wood planks in the center. And then to add detail on top of the roof, use birch stairs and face them inwards. Then to finish the roof, we can add detail along the roof line. 
Add upside down birch stairs under the one block overhang. Do this for the front and back sides of the house. Step 4. Next we can install the flooring. For the base, use birch planks and fill in the center. This center section will also act as a dock. Extend the flooring two blocks past the house, on both the front and back sides. And then we can fill in the rest of the blocks. Next let's work on the second level. Use birch slabs and fill in the spaces in between the green concrete blocks. And then lastly, we can add in a spruce fence around the top and back edges of both the lower and upper decks. Step 5. Next we can finish the walls, as well as install the doors and add windows. First let's start by extending the concrete pillars all the way up to the ridge of the roof. We can do this all the way around the house, extending the green concrete pillar an extra 2 blocks. Next let's go inside the boat garages, and then we can add another column next to the interfacing pillar, and then we can remove the ceiling slabs in this row and replace with concrete blocks. And then we can make another pillar on the other side. Then let's repeat for the other garage. Next let's move upstairs and install the doors. Place two birch doors in the center. Then black stained glass blocks on the side. And then two more green concrete blocks next to the glass blocks. And then we can repeat for the other side. Place two doors in the center followed by glass blocks. And then more concrete blocks on the side. And then we can go around the exterior of the house and fill in the window openings with black stained glass panes. Step 6. Next let's work on the interior of the garage. Start by placing concrete blocks that wrap around the sides and back. However, leave three spaces in the front open. This way there is plenty of rooms to pull the boats in and out. Next place two birch doors in the interfacing walls. Then place black stained glass blocks all the way around the frame of the door. Next, you can remove the corner birch there and add in the ladder. Then we can do the same for the other garage. Add extra concrete blocks all the way around, as this will be a good area to stand when loading in and out of the boats.
Then place two doors in the center, followed by glass blocks all the way around the door. Then add a ladder in the corner, as this will be access to the second level. Next I'm going to add sea lanterns in the floor. This will provide underwater lighting, and it'll help light up the garage. However, you do not need to do this step. Alternatively, you can add glowstone or torches on the wall, as those would be other good lighting options. Step 7. Next let's work on the garage doors. Now this step is optional, and you do not need to do this step, as you can leave the garage doors wide open. However, if you'd like to create a working garage, start by placing temporary blocks in the door. These blocks are placeholder blocks, so you can use any random block that you'd like, as we will remove these temporary blocks very shortly. Then place iron trap doors on top of the blocks. Then we can remove the placeholder blocks. Then we can add in levers on the sides. These levers will be how we open and close the garage doors. Now we can test the door and make sure there's plenty of clearance with our boat. Option number two. Now you can use wooden trap doors instead of iron trap doors. If you prefer wooden trap doors, start by placing placeholder blocks that are pushed back one space. Then place trap doors in front, just like before. Then remove the placeholder blocks. And then we can close the trap doors. Then to make sure these doors work just like the previous time, we can ride our boat through and make sure there's plenty of clearance. Step 8. Next we can work on the landscaping. Now I'm going to add in lily pads to the water. And then next I'm going to add in birch flower boxes. To make these birch flower boxes, use upside down birch stairs. Place the end blocks on an angle. And then we can add in flower pots on top. Step 9. Lastly is the interior, and I'll leave this completely up to you. However, I'll quickly show you how I did mine. Now pulling up to the house, we can enter into the garage. Then once in the garage, we can walk out onto the first floor patio. And this is a great place to hang out on. We can also access the other boats in the second garage. And then in each garage there is a ladder leading to the second level. The second level has a kitchen, as well as an outdoor upper level deck. And then above the other garage is a bedroom. This boathouse is a great place to entertain parties. And this house is a fun project to build. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create building tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys! Previously on Greg Builds, we built a unique suburban house. Suburban house number 4 is the largest suburban house I've built to date. And it features 3 floors of living space, plus a rooftop deck, and an upper level balcony.
This house also has a two-car garage and a covered front porch. Make sure to check this build out. Later, guys.